glory, honor, and praise. Now, Lord, we thank you, Father God, for despite what's going on in the world, that you're yet moving and working behind the scenes. We may not know, Father God, what tomorrow holds, but we know who holds tomorrow. And Lord, because we know who holds tomorrow, we place our futures and our lives in your hands, oh God. We bow to you, oh God, because you are the one and only true God, the one and only living God, the one and only sovereign God. And Father, for that, Lord God, we thank you, we praise you, we glorify you, and we lift you up, Father. Now I come, Lord God, praying on behalf of our nation. And Lord, as I pray on behalf of our nation, I come repenting to you for the multiple sins that we have committed before you. For Father, we have al allowed us a, a smell to rise to the throne of heaven, O oh God, and allowed a nasty and a stinking aroma to come across your nostrils because of our wickedness, because of our evil deeds. And I come before you, O oh God, this afternoon praying for repentance Lord we repent of the sins that we've committed before you every sin father that so easily besets us Lord we pray father that you would find grace and mercy Lord God to cover us oh God with the blood of Jesus we, we repent father God for putting idols before you for taking you off the altars of our hearts and putting idols oh God in your place the idol of money the idol of power the idol father God of of husbands and wives and loved ones, the idols of boyfriends, the idols, oh God, of our jobs and our businesses, oh God, and so many different things that we've turned to, oh God, and turned our face from you. But I come before you, Lord God, repenting on the behalf of our nation, asking for your forgiveness, oh God, that you would forgive us of every sin that so easily besets us. Forgive us, Lord God, for every waking moment and every waking hour that you brought this world to a halt. You stopped it, oh God. It's still rolling on its axis, oh God, but you stopped the world as we've known it. And you've allowed, in so many words, time to stand still because you're giving us a chance and an opportunity, Lord, to come before you with the heart, of the, with the heart, oh God, of repentance. And Father, I pray that you receive this prayer before you, Lord God, today as I pray on behalf of your people. Now, Lord, we pray, Father God, for the president and every government official. We pray in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you would touch his mind mind on today, oh God. Touch his mind, Father God, and give him, Lord God, what to do. Encourage his heart, Father God, as he stands before your people to speak what needs to be spoken, to update the people on what's going on across the world. Father, we're, we're broken. There are so many broken people in the world. There are people that are afraid. People, Father God, that are sick. People, Lord God, that need help. And Father, we come asking, oh God, that you would move in a mighty way. We pray, Lord, that you would move Move in his thoughts, oh God, that as he writes down the speech that he needs to speak, oh God, and tally up the numbers, oh God, that they've been researching, that you will speak through him like only you can. If you can use the, 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 the voice, the, the mouth of a donkey to speak your word and to de declare your truth, how much more will you do, oh God, for a mere human as us, oh God? So I pray for him on today that you would give him renewed strength, that you would give him strategies, oh God, on what to do, oh God, to Help us in our time of trouble, that as he leads this nation, oh God, that you would open his ears to hear your voice, oh God. Open his heart to receive the true love, oh God, that you have for him, oh God. Give him directions and derivatives on what to do, Father, that he'll know what bills to pass, what bills to veto. Bless his cabinet and those, oh God, that stand, oh God, and stand in the, in, in the, in the gap with him and stand alongside of him as he goes forth, oh God, to do the work that you've called him to do. We pray, Lord, for those that are working alongside of him, that you would give them increased strategies, oh God. Give them the blueprint that they need, oh God, to, to bring normalcy back to our country, oh God. I pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you will reveal yourself to them like only you can. Give them ears to hear, minds and hearts to receive and comprehend what you are saying to them to do in this season. Father, when he wants to go his own way, oh God, shake up his spirit, shake up his soul, shake Shake up his heart, oh God, that he'll follow the instructions, oh God, that he feels you impressing upon his heart. 
and speak into his mind, oh God, to do in Jesus' mighty name. We pray, Father God, for the first responders, for those that are on the front lines, the doctors, the nurses, the anesthesiologists, the surgeons, Lord God, the, and the those that are, 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 are picking up the people, oh God, in ambulances, Father. Those, Lord God, that we, oh God, don't even see working behind the scenes, the staff members, Lord, the phlebotomists, oh God, we pray for them on today. For Father, they are susceptible of catching the virus. They are susceptible from being, for being infected and having cross-contamination, oh God. But Lord, we plead the blood of Jesus over their lives today. We plead the blood of Jesus, Father God, over their bodies, over their immune systems, oh God. And we pray, Father God, that you would send your healing virtue, oh God, to cover them in the name of Jesus. That the blood of Jesus, Lord God, you will wrap them in the, in the banner, oh God, of your blood. We pray, Father God, that you will build up their immune systems, oh God, that whatever, oh God, they come in contact with, oh God, will bring them no hurt, no harm, no danger, no death, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, where the doctors may be baffled in certain cases, they come across, oh God, their hands, and they may not know what to do. I pray that you would give them revelational knowledge, speak to their minds, oh God, give them a strategy, Father God, and how, oh God, to perform the medical care that they need, Father, oh God, for what these people need, these first responders need to do their jobs. We pray that you are provided to them, oh God. Oh God, strengthen their bodies as they're working long hours and long shifts, Father. For those that I know personally, oh God, that are working in the medical field, I call out their names, oh God. Sharmisha Wren, Karana Smith, oh God. I call out Jackie Hill, oh God, today. I call out Dr. Charles Bell before you, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, I know, Father, that there are so many more. But Lord, we lift them up before the throne of grace. Let your power be revealed, oh God, in our land today, Father. We lift you up and we praise your name today, God. Father, look upon, oh God, those people that we've been forgetting about, the morticians, the funeral directors, oh God. Oh God, look upon the funeral staff, oh God, as these bodies of those that are dying from this virus are being carried into the, the funeral homes. Father, they're susceptible, oh God, by, by handling the bodies of those that are deceased cease because the infection, oh God, and the virus still remains in the body. We pray in the name of Jesus, oh God, that you will lift up your bloodstained banner. Cover them in the name of Jesus. Look upon Kanita Harrison, oh God, and her staff as they are working tirelessly, oh God to bury the bodies of those that are coming in. Father, there's a new way, oh God, that they've got to work. A new way, Father God, that they have got that they have, oh God, to funeralize these family members. And Lord, I've known, I know God from what's been spoken to me, the difficulty that they're having, oh God, in allowing these things to be done. I pray for them today, oh God, that you would give them peace, even as they deal with the, the, the families that are coming in, oh God, that are broken hearted because they weren't able to be with their loved ones when they pass that are not going to be able to be there to see them properly buried and funeralized oh God we pray for the hearts of your people today but Lord we are deeply wounded God but Father we know that you are the healer of every wound you are the healer oh God of every broken heart and I pray Lord that you would strengthen these staff members in these funeral homes these funeral directors the morticians God as they have more bodies coming in than what they may be used to allow them Lord God to be strengthened in the midst of what they're going through. Give them a word to comfort, oh God, your people and the family members as they come, as they speak to them on the phone, word their mouth of what to say. Give their bodies, oh God, increased strength that as they also have to work long hours, they'll be able, Lord God, to stand and continue to do what they've been called to do in their current positions. Father, we pray that the patients of COVID-19, God, we pray for them on today. We pray, God, in the name of Jesus, that you would build up their immune systems as well. Allow them to be able to fight off the virus. Whatever it is that they need, oh God, to be able to cope in this time of a fear where they don't know, Father God, some don't know if they're going to live or die. Some that are on respirators, oh God, and they're calling out to you, oh God, that their lives may be spared. We pray for them on today. We lift them up, oh God, and we ask, Lord, that you would have your way, oh God. Minister to them in their dark hour when their family are not there to hold their hands 
hands, oh God, or not able to speak to them, God. Those that are even dying alone, I pray that the comfort of your Holy Spirit will be with them, oh God. Hold their hands, oh God. Let them feel the comfort of your warm embrace, Lord. We know, God, that that is not the way that you intended for man to leave this earth. But, Lord, we know, God, that you, oh God, are in charge of everything. You know, Lord God, what's going on, oh God, the things that we cannot even see transpiring behind the scenes. Lift up your voice, oh God, like a trumpet to speak to those, oh God, that have authority over us, oh God. Lend their ears to your voice that they may hear you clearly, oh God, that the perfect work, oh God, that you would have to them to do on this earth may be fulfilled in Jesus' mighty, holy, and righteous name. And, Father, we pray for the families of those that have lost loved ones. We pray that you will strengthen them in this hour. This is an hour, Lord God, that most of them did not expect. They're losing loved ones that were not previously sick. They're losing loved ones, Lord God, that they are expecting to come home. And Lord, they don't know what to do in their time of despair. Be their comfort and their strength. Let the joy of the Lord rest upon them, Father. For Father, you said in your word that you are the lifter up of our heads. And I pray in the name of Jesus Jesus, that you would lift up their heads. Oh God, your word is written to lift up your heads, O ye gates. Oh God, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors. Who is the King of glory? The Lord God, strong and mighty. The Lord God, mighty in battle. Father, be the battle act, O God, that you are. Be the mighty warrior and the mighty conqueror in the lives of your people, that your word declares and decrees that you are. For I know, God, that you're already fighting the battle, O God, that's beyond our control. We have no control of this issue that's going on in our nation. Oh God, and we pray Father that we put our situations, our problems, our struggles, the lives of our families in the palm of your hands. We pray for those that have underlying conditions that would make them more susceptible to, oh God, attract the virus in their bodies. We pray in the name of Jesus that you would guard their internal organs and external extremities. Let the blood of Jesus cover them, oh God, we pray. In the name of Jesus. Cover them, Lord. Keep them strong. Allow them, Father God, to be mindful and obedient to do what our government leaders are compelling us to do in this season. That cross-contamination, oh God, and infection will cease, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. We're yet praying, oh God, that you would destroy the virus, oh God, that it won't continue to continue to spread and attack the bodies of those, oh God, around the world. We thank you, Father, for those that have recovered. We thank you that the ones that have recovered are more than those, Father God, that have not. And we pray, Father God, that even in the midst of their recovery, that you would strengthen their bodies. Allow them to stand strong, oh God. Stand strong in their faith. And for those that don't know you, let this be a time and an opportunity for them to know you in your love and in the power of your might and your strength, oh God. Father, there's nothing, oh God, or no one who can come to our aid in times of distress and in times of grief. I, we may be able to call our family members to sit with us or to speak a word of encouragement, but at the end of the day, it is only you, oh God, and your mighty and righty hands that can deliver. Only your hands that can save. Only your hands, oh God, that can bring, oh God, strength and that can bring healing, Father. And we trust and lean on you. For your word is written, oh God, that you were bruised for our iniquities, oh God. And that, Lord God, the chastisement of our peace and our government was weighed on your shoulders. But you said in your word that by your son's stripes we are healed. And Father, because you already redeemed us from sickness, disease, and death, oh God. We call that your healing come forth today in the bodies of those that are sick, in the bodies of those that are in the process of healing in the mighty and the matchless name of Jesus Christ. Now Lord I pray that you in the name of Jesus will bless those that have lost their jobs those Father God that have lost their businesses, those that are wondering what are they going to do without having an income coming in anymore. Father, you are a great provider. You provided everything that we need, but you declared in your word, oh God, that just if you can, just like you, oh God, you feed the lilies of the field and the birds of the clothes, the lilies of the field and feed the birds of the air. How much more would you do for those who are people that love you, oh God? So we pray for provision for them today. Father, where they don't see a way, I ask and pray in the name of Jesus that you will 
will provide a way. That you will provide a way for them to keep themselves sheltered and clothed, oh God. That you will provide means for them to be fed. But those that are afraid, oh God, that they may be on the street, I pray in the name of Jesus that you would intercept right now. Intercede in a mighty way, oh God. In the name of Jesus, Lord. Let your power go forth, oh God. Let the worry, oh God, be torn away from the minds and the hearts of your people. That you would, oh God, replace it with faith. Faith and trust to believe that you can do the absolutely impossible. Why, God? Because many of us that are watching God have seen you do the impossible in our lives, oh God. And there's nothing that's too hard for you. There's nothing that's too small for you. There's nothing that's too great for you. For Lord, you are mighty and awesome in all your power. And you can do anything but fail. And Lord, as we pray for these people today, we pray for our nation. I pray a special prayer. That the truth of the word of the gospel of Jesus Christ will continue to flood the airways. That it will continue to flood social media. That those that are on their phones and visiting Facebook and Instagram and Periscope and YouTube and whatever else is out there. That you will let the word of the gospel of Jesus Christ travel near and far from every end of the earth. From the north and the south to the east and the west. Oh God that you will let it travel from nation to nation. Give your people, oh God, it is to hear, oh God, what you're saying to us in this season. For Lord, your return is soon. Hallelujah. Your return is soon. And Father, you're giving us time and opportunity now to get our lives in order, to get our houses in order. For Father, you said that you would never leave us nor forsake us, but that you would be with us until the end of the world. So we call upon the name of Jesus, the name of our great counselor, the name of our great redeemer, the name of our El Shaddai, the name of the Lord. Be a strong tower, O oh God. Enter into the hearts of man. Feed our souls, O oh God, when we're hungry. Give us water, O oh God, when we're thirsty. The water of the spring of life, O oh God. For in you, O oh God, our wells would never run dry. Let the word go forth to prick the hearts of man. Let their hearts be so pricked, O oh God, that they'll begin to sit down and evaluate their lives. O oh God, that they'll sit down and evaluate their souls and their hearts, that they'll take inventory oh God, on what they're thinking about, what they're dwelling about and where their heart resides, for your word is written that as a man thinketh in his, in his heart, so is he, the, the heart oh God is what houses our thoughts and our, and our brain, which tells our brain what to do oh God, and we speak, pray Father in the name of Jesus, speak to the heart of man that their brains, their hearts, and their souls will be convicted in this hour. Their repentance will flood the land, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, let us not be afraid to stand up for the gospel of truth. But it is, the, the, it is Jesus that died on the cross for our sins and transgressions. There's no man on this earth, oh God, who laid down his life, oh God, that we may be saved, that we may have the right to the tree of life, that we may be able to be reconciled back unto our Father. So for the blood that he shed for our sins and transgressions. As we look upon this week, oh God, as the week of your resurrection, Lord, let us not forget that you hung, bled, and died for us, oh God. Let us not forget the nails that were driven through your hands, oh God, and hammered in your feet, oh God, that our souls may be saved. Let us not take for granted, oh God, your dying body that laid limpless on the cross. When you hung, bled, and died for us, oh God, let us commit our ways unto you, oh Oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus, for this is the hour and this is the season that you're calling your people unto repentance. You're calling us, Lord God, to lay aside every weight that so easily besets us that we may be able to run this race with patience and endurance. And I pray, God, for those that have already given their hearts, oh God, to you, not half of their heart, not a part of their heart, but we're praying that they give all of their hearts to you and for your people everywhere, oh God, every Christian alike. Give them strength, Lord. Let them not be weary in their well-doing. For you have written in your word that in due season they shall reap if they faint not, O oh God. Give them strength, O oh God, to work, to, to, to ride the storm that we're in. Let them know, Father God, that even though they may not see your hands at work, that you're still working, you're still moving, O oh God. You're still being strong. You're still being the deliverer and the provider that we need you to be. We trust you, O oh God. Increase our faith 
faith in you, Father. When we get weary, oh God, oh God, be our strength and let us, oh God, rise to the occasion of prayer, rise to the occasion to minister those, oh God, that need a word on today, God. We love you, Lord God. We honor you today, God. We glorify your name, for without you, Lord God, this earth wouldn't even be in existence. Without you, Lord God, there would be no us, and without you, Lord God, we would have no life. And Father, we thank you for life today, for you spoken in your word, oh God, that you are the breath of life. And because you are the breath of life, it is you, Lord God, that we live and we breathe and we have our being. Now, I pray, Father, that this prayer will go before the throne of grace and that it will cross, cross your nostrils as a sweet aroma. Father, let your, let your name be glorified. Oh, God, let this prayer bring glory to your sight. Let it delight in you, oh, God. And I pray, Father, that you will get us back into a position, Lord God, where you will be able, Lord God, to delight yourself self in us. Father, this is my sincere prayer today, that the people that hear it, oh God, will be touched by it, will be impacted by it, that souls will be saved, that bodies will be healed, oh God, that lives will be spared because of the prayer that going forth at this time and in this season across the nation. You are the one and only true risen God. You, There's no other God, oh God, before you. There's no God that can compare to you. There's no God that can outweigh you, Lord. And Father, we thank you, we praise you, and we glorify you today. Let your name be lifted up, O oh God, across the earth, O oh God. In Jesus' mighty and matchless name, I pray. I glorify you and I thank you. Amen and amen. Thank you all so much for those of you that joined in. I just pray that God bless your day, that your day is filled with peace and joy, that you wake up with a newfound sense of hope where fear is running rampant in the land. Let fear not dwell in our hearts, for we know that God's word says that he has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. And as I speak to you, I speak to myself with the fear of coming on social media. But as the Holy Spirit pushes me to do what I'm uncomfortable doing, I yield myself to him that I, he may use me in this time and this season to do his will and that his work may be done. The purpose of it all, I don't get on here to be seen. I don't get on here for likes. I don't get on here for good comments, but because there's souls that need to be saved. There's lives that are being lost without knowing who Christ is. And because of that, my heart is compelled to reach the people, oh God, in the way that he deems necessary. So as I pray for each and every one of you, my prayer is that I pray for you. And before before I leave this screen, I pray for each and every one of you watching that God, that you give God your whole heart. If you haven't done it today, give him your whole heart. There are Christians that are walking upon the earth that have not given him his, their whole heart, but give it to him because that is what he desires. He desires a heart that's yielded to him, that he may be able to do the perfect work that he did for Christ on the cross on the inside of us. So give your whole hearts to him and my prayer is that may the blessings of God's grace overwhelm you greatly let the that the blessings of God's grace overwhelm you greatly I pray that you all be blessed as you go throughout the course of your day lift up the name of Jesus. God is being merciful to us in this season. Let us not continue to go through life for those of us that are not giving him the just due that he deserves. He deserves to be glorified and magnified in all that he does. And on today, we want to give him praise, not just today, but every day for the rest of our lives. Don't forget to pray for those that are being that are sick. Don't forget to pray for our nation. Don't forget to pray for our president who needs the help of God in this season. I pray that you are I'll be blessed and have a terrific day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for chiming in during this time of prayer. You have a blessed day. Lord, I glorify you, God. Thank you, Lord.